to game number two of today. We have Cleveland State Lady Cougars versus Dyersburg State Lady Eagles. Cleveland State is coached by Evelyn Thompson. Dyersburg State is coached by Charles Taylor. It's supposed to be a good one, JD. Yeah, very much looking forward to it. Uh, Cleveland State actually has the leading scorer in the conference. Yeah, I just found team. that out. Yes, yes, uh, I just found that. Abby Hubert is the leader, leading scorer in the conference. So uh, she said in the pregame that, you know, that's a big, big person to look out for. So we'll, we'll definitely probably be calling number 11, Abby Hubert's name a lot today. I'm Hunter Talley alongside JD Shoemate and the rest of the crew here at Chattanooga State. All right, and starting for the Cleveland State Lady Cougars, we have number 11, Abby Hubert, starting as she's a sophomore guard. Uh, number 12, Julia Gaither, a sophomore guard. Number 14, Ebony Kelly, she's a freshman forward. Number 23, Kyla Braden, she's also a sophomore forward. And Kia Jenkins, at number 24, a sophomore forward. Yeah, so I got an interview with the coach. Let's uh, go ahead and send that out to the truck, see what we got. I'm here with Coach Evelyn Thompson. Coach, last time y'all played, you won by a one-point game, 69-68, very close game. What's the plan to get the same outcome as a W? Well, I mean, the W is only one point is all you need. So whatever we need to do to get that one point or 100 points or 10 points, whatever, at this point it's about surviving, you know, and, and advancing. So. We're just going to go out, follow the game plan, and, and do what we do. So last game, y'all only hit actually one three one three pointer. Um, y'all are inside the arc kind of team. Uh, what what's a what's a big player to watch? That's a big. Um, I, I mean, Abby Abby Hubert, who is um, the leading scorer in the conference right now. She always comes up big for us. So we're expecting her to again take us and lead us uh, with her points. Um, Julia Gaither, he's, she's always solid for us, always playing hard, always does the, the dirty work for us, so we're looking for big things for her. And then Ebony Kelly, who's uh, fourth or fifth in scoring in the league right now, uh, we're expecting her to have a big game as well. So I, at this point, everyone has to contribute, whether you're on the bench or whether you're a starter, you have to come out and ready, be ready to play when your numbers call. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you. So it sounds like they have a pretty good shooting team but like I mentioned in the, in the pregame there, they only made one three-pointer last time they played Dyersburg State. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that pans out for them. Um, it's supposed to be a great game. You know, both teams have had a bye, so this will be the first game they uh, played in the tournament. Yeah, very first game they're playing in this tournament today. It should be a fun matchup. And I remember whoever wins this will uh, move on to play the uh, Walter State, who won the last game. So we got three new referees out here on the court with us in this game. Giving the other three, we've got some fresh legs out here, so that's good. Getting set for tip off. Oh, 
five minutes late. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> Tip off right at 4.05. Here we go. And looks like Cleveland State will win the tip off. Cleveland State takes the ball first. Dressed in all baby blue. Great pass down low to number 24. And oh, with the bucket, finish. Kaya Jenkins with the first bucket for Cleveland State. Dyersburg wasting no time oh, in and out of the basket. Barely missed that one. Oh, missed, but good offensive rebound. And oh. sneaks in on the baseline. Great move. Wow. That was a definitely a good move right there by Julia Gaither as she gets the bucket. Looks like great offensive movement by Cleveland State to start out the game here. Yeah, they are, uh, they're holding a 4 nothing lead now, just under a, over a minute gone in the first quarter. Hard spin move by Brown. What a pass down court. Not able to finish, though. Looks like Cleveland State's coming out here and trying to be as aggressive as possible. Dyerberg. State takes it back across half court. Big three-pointer. shot. Couldn't get it going as Kanea Butts missed the three-pointer. <laughs> Caleb puts it back down to number 14 as it looked like the shot was blocked. I think she, uh, I think she got blocked on that one. But now we have a push out. Foul on number 14, Please Kelly. We'll have uh, Bianca Massey inbounding the ball now. Looks like Cleveland State's going with a bit of a press defense here opening the game up. Yeah, a little press zone action, making them move the ball a little bit on the back court. I finally got across the half court line. What do you think the advantages of running that in the first half are? Well, oh. you, 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 get them, you get them thinking. You get them thinking, so, you know, you got to see how their ball handling is. In the very first quarter, you figure out, you know, are they going to be sloppy or are they not, you know. So. Test them out, see, what, see how they're going to react, huh? Right. Oh, big three, oh. big three, big miss, too. Yeah, it went way over on that one. And that'll, uh... With Cleveland State possession here. So Dyersburg tries to come in with, with one point with the three-pointer and miss that one as Cleveland State has the ball back. Oh, good move based on the block from behind. And that was Aaron Foster with the block. Wow, oh. big fast break and a big charge. Big lower in the shoulder right there. Big number 13, Oriana Brown. Looks like she caught her in the face there with the elbow when she went over right there. Yeah, that was that was a football move right there, don't you think? Uh, I almost think she forgot her sport. <laughs> the little juke stick, or, or not the juke stick, but the <laughs> truck stick. Oh, oh, and we'll be tied up in midcourt. That'll be a drop ball. Let's see who will get possession here. Possession arrow. And that'll be Dyersburg. Dyersburg. So that was 13, Oriana Brown, who actually just got the foul called on her and got the ball back for the Dyersburg State Lady Eagles. Big shot right there. Still have not had a bucket yet for the Dyersburg Eagles. Very slow start. Very slow start. And That'll be a blocking call on Aaron Foster. Yeah, Coach Coach Taylor right there telling number 30, Foster to just, you got to stay back. You got to get back in your position right there. So still no points for Dyersburg with seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Only four points for Cleveland State. As the leading scorer, Abby Huber is not in right now. She's on the bench. 
relying on our teammates to get a big lead. And wide open for Julia Gaither, but not able to convert there. It's still 4 0, 636 to go in the first quarter. So a lot of shots, JD, but none of them are hitting the net. Yeah, it's almost like there's a lid on the rim for both teams. Another shot. Oh, that one's blocked. That one hit the net, but in the wrong position. <laughs> Didn't hit the rim first, so that was air ball. Got another foul called on number on number three. So three fouls already here in the first quarter with 6.24 to go. See these refs are calling pretty close. Yeah, in the last game they were actually letting him play a little bit. Yeah, very much so. It's fun to watch. Caleb Braden bringing the ball up for Cleveland State. Oh, good move there, but blocked from behind by Foster. Oh, and great shot there. Oh, almost a walk. She got the ball out of her hands. And Eric Foster saves it, but uh, picked off by Cleveland. Tried to go with the fast break. Wow, great move by Emmy Kelly there. You know, Cleveland State is moving the ball very well to start this first first quarter. They run out of an eight nothing lead here. Just uh, five minutes gone here in the first quarter. It means we're still five minutes scoreless. Wow, now, there it is. Four minutes and 42 seconds without a score there for Dyersburg. Uh, they're going to have to figure something out on the offensive end. Yeah, and your first first points coming off the bench too. Foster with the first first score for the Lady Eagles and. She came off the bench, so we got a we got a sub coming in for Cleveland State. It'll be Jordan Smith. She's a freshman this year. So eight two. Cleveland State with five minutes to go. Oh, what with a defense steal there! Steal by number fourteen, Albany Kelly, and as it was a. See what the call is here. I think that was a double dribble. I think so. She about lost it there and had to put it back on the floor. Wow. And that'll be a blocking call now on Jordan Smith. These refs are hard calling it uh, how they see it, I guess you can say. I guess so. Um, Tournament basketball, though, you, you'd think they'd uh, let them play through this a little more. You would think. So already a lot of fouls. Oh, step up shot there. Missed by Orion Brown. We actually have a little more fans in the crowd today, or this game. Oh, great big steal there. Still and a reach in foul again. The foul on number 10, Jordan Smith. As she just entered the game and already has two fouls on her. Got to shake off the nerves here. 21, Bianca. First appearance in this tournament. Sorry, JD, that was my fault. 21, Bianca, right there on an inbound pass. A lot of ball movement from Dyerberg Eagles on this position. Foul right there, number 24, Jenkins. That's in uh, Aaron Foster to the line. Aaron Foster definitely has, uh, is definitely the largest woman on the court today. Do you think that's going to uh, create a problem for Cleveland State inside? Yeah, she's she is a tall girl. Uh, she already had a block in this game. So she only made one of two. Next to score eight to three now. 348 here to go in the first quarter. Good ball movement outside the arc as they finally drive oh, and yeah. lose it. That pass went nowhere. Kayla Braden on that pass that just went sailing out of bounds.
Oh, behind the back move by Oriana Brown. Got that big knee brace on the right leg. You see her uh, sizing up Jordan Smith there. Jordan's doing a good job defending her. Caused her to throw it away. Yep. Pass intended for Kanea Butts. Julia so. Gayfield checked back into the game now for uh, Kyla Braden. Once again, number 11, Abby Hubert, which coach told us to watch out for, is still not on the court. She's Actually, right there, she took her first shot just there, now. There she goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that looked like number 12 to me. But there she quiet is. so far. Yes, she has. And Gayfield missed the three, but rebound by Ebony Kelly, and third opportunity, couldn't get anything going, Dyer's broke a rebound. And goes baseline. Oh, couldn't finish there, and it looks like it'll be Cleveland State ball. Yes, Cleveland State will take possession. And we have Abby Hurt inbounding here to Julia Gaither. Oh, and that's stolen by Zakai ahead. And she'll start taking on a fast break, but loses it. So it looks like Kelly's uh, in the defensive mode. Big three right here by Jordan Smith and nails it. Smith. Now stretch the lead 11 to three now. 2-10 to go here in the first and we'll get a timeout. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's referee's resetting. So we'll see Holm and Neal check in for Dyersburg. Oh, good defense there from wow. Gaither to keep that pass from going through. Number 14, Abney Kelly, is just all over the court. She's this Cleveland State team has a very uh, a very good defense. It works, moves in concert, works together well. Yeah, Kelly already has two steals on the game and two minutes to go in the first quarter. Big Wide three. open. Can't convert, though. And we got a three on two fast break. And Emily Kelly will fall to the floor, and that'll be Dyer's road possession. Very slow start to the game here for both teams. Just, uh, scores 11 to three with a minute 38. What do you think's going on here, Hunter? I don't know, man. They, I guess it's the, this the tournament jitters. You got to get this out in the first quarter, so hopefully uh, Coach Taylor over there can get them together after this one minute and 22 seconds tick off the clock. Maybe they can get them together and get some buckets. Oh, and that one's intercepted. Right now they are just all over the place. Tia Jenkins intercepts that one under the, under the basket. Wow. Good move there by Gaither with a scoop layup. Score make, that makes the score 13 to three with under a minute to go and that one will sell out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. They are just throwing the ball around. They, are, they have to settle down. I'm surprised Coach Charles Taylor has not called a timeout yet to take a minute with their team. But with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter, it's 13 to three, a 10 point game. And their, their first bucket came with five minutes to go, so they hadn't had a bucket in over five minutes. That's true, only one basket here in the first quarter. That can't be a, a good sign, and almost blocked, but that'll go in. No, no they, they won't count it, hit the top of the backboard. Yeah, they said it hit the shot clock to help that one go in. That would have been the leading scorer, Abby Hubert's first bucket of the game. So score still 13 to three, this may end up being one, uh, Close to the last question we'll see here, 20, a little over 20 seconds on the shot clock. It's 15, sorry, 15 on the shot clock, 20 on the clock. And Foster will take on top of the key and miss. Eight seconds to go here as Cleveland takes across half court. 
Wow, Jordan Smith with a big three to hear that. Oh, oh and that'll be missed by Ebony Kelly at the buzzer. They're asking for the foul, but uh, not going to get the call from the ref there. I'm so, surprised because they called everything else. So. Right. so at the end of one, it's 13-3. Uh, to three. Cleveland State leading by 10. Dyersburg State only one basket in that entire quarter. Yeah, one basket and one free throw, but that's coming off their bench too. I mean, that's that's very surprising. You know, 10-point game in the first quarter. Um, last time they played, it was a one-point game. The, the final score was 69-68 Cleveland State. So maybe Dyersburg is just getting these jitters out of the way. They'll come out of the gate either the second quarter or second half. But uh, if, Cle if Cleveland State keeps this up and Dyersburg keeps what, up what they're doing, I think this, this might not – be pretty. All right, now if you're Coach Taylor over there in the huddle, what are you talking to your girls about? Quit throwing the ball away, settle down, you know, d just take this tournament jitters out of your mind and just settle down and play the ball that you know how to play. All right, well, let's see if they, uh, see if they got any advice like that and if so, if they can take it uh, as we uh, come back out here for the start of the second quarter. Again, Cleveland State up by 10. Big three right there by number 11, Abby Hubert. Or their first three-pointer on the game. That'll actually be Abby's first score in this game. Make it 16-3 now. I have a feeling that it's going to be first of many now that she hit her first. Kai Head with a good pass down low. There it is. And good finish by Aaron Foster. So that'll be, uh, make it 15-5, make it a 10-point deficit again. Uh, at least Dyersburg got an early score here to start up the second. Jordan Smith found herself alone again. She's blocked, though. Great block there by Zia Bland. And Takaya Head will take it all the way, and she, wow. that's a charging call. Another charge. So I guess Cleveland State practiced that this week. Make they, sure your feet set. Yeah, they're definitely drawing the charges. Not in the box. Again, the referee's calling us really, really close. Wow. Gaither takes a three, and she was just left open right there. Wide open, she said, why not? So big fast break right here for number 24, Kanea Butts. All right, and Gaither will bring her back across half court. Loses it, Zakai Head with the steal. And that'll be a two on one fast break, and Head will throw it away. Cleveland State will take possession. See, that's something that you cannot do. You, you kept throwing the ball away in the first quarter. You can't come out in the second quarter and do that, so. All right, a little under two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Uh, Scores 15 5, Cleveland State up. Oh, good pass. Ebony Kelly finds herself down low, and she puts it in 17-5 now. Eight minutes left in the first half. And missed the three there, but gets her own rebound. Good passing there from Dyersburg there, and Foster finishes off down low. Foster has scored the only point for Dyersburg State Lady Eagles right now. She is still the only scorer with seven points. That's uh, not a good sign for Dyersburg. You gotta get the, the other players going too. And Foster can't handle the pass down low. That'll be another turnover for Dyersburg here. Uh, I haven't been keeping track. I don't know how many total, but I think that's at least five, at least. You can't have that early in the, that's why you're down by 10, 7.20 to go in the half. 
So Cleveland State moves the ball forward. Come right here in front of us. Big shot, shot by Great Shia shot Jenkins. I don't make it 19 7, seven minutes left here in the half. Wide open shot there, and she'll put it in. That's the first score from anyone but Aaron Foster there. And Tazia Bland will put that one in. Gaither with the ball. She's had been having a good game so far. And oh, good back and forth there, but Gaither stopped by Aaron Foster down low. Yeah, it's kind of hard to shoot over her. And George Smith did call for travel there. So we got a couple of subs coming in. 14 for Cleveland State. Albany Kelly coming back in for him. Good ball movement. Great ball movement. Oh, wow. That'll be a travel violation. I don't see how the referee right in front of the play did yeah. not call it, and the one that was on the cross, the court yeah. called it. Should have definitely, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with these referees here today. <laughs> Julia Gaither will stall up top while she's on the play. Oh, good screen right there from Abby Hurt. Or Abby Hubert, sorry. So it looks like Abby's just taking her time and just dishing it to her fellow teammates. Just making sure she got, she got the rest of the team going before she's uh, going to step up, it looks like. She, had, she might not even need to the way this team's playing. Well, I don't know if it's her team or the other team that's just throwing the ball away, you know, just not settling down. You're right. That'll make it, with that make it, will make it 20 to 9, 559 here to go on the half. My boy, Yana Brown checking in now for uh, Dyersburg. And oh, gets her own come rebound. Up with that. And Foster able to get the defense come up with the rebound down low. Find Foster in the lane. She'll take it all the wow. way. Wow. She's gets giving her it own all. Tip. Aaron Foster. Foster is just getting put, another one. She's putting Dyersburg on her back here. Now we make score. Number 24 right there. Can Keontae Butts was going for the ball and accidentally elbowed her in the face. Kyler Brayton will kick it to Julie Gaither now. Oh, and stripped, but they will recover it to Abby Hubert. Hubert with a three. Wow, what a shot. There she is. That was a deep three, making a 12-point lead now for Cleveland State. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Oh, and loses it there, but recovered by Dyersburg, oh. and that'll be a jump ball. Great job right there by number 14, Kelly, for Cleveland State. As she noticed the ball was loose, and two two teammates were fighting over it, so she just went ahead and jumped on it and had a jump ball. This will be Dyersburg possession still. We're throwing the ball in, 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. Seven, six, five seconds to go now. Loses the ball, oh, and steal. Hubert with a great steal. Here she goes. And Julia Gaither all the way. Not able to finish, but oh! And then it'll stay Cleveland State ball. I mean, Kelly missing on the putback there. I guess we can just go ahead and call Kelly like a spider monkey because it's, she's everywhere. <laughs> That's what I was I was called in, in high school. We were just kind of similar we're all over the place trying to make plays happen for their team which is good oh and Big Hubert, give three. Her three. Wow. wow what a shot with a hand in her face 
26 to 11. Cleveland State takes a 15 point lead now with four and a half minutes to go here in the second half. We talked about her, how she's been quiet, but every shot she's taken has been big three. And a missed three, three there, but rebound by Tazria Bland puts it in. Four minutes to go here in the first half, scores 26 to 13. Wow, Ebony Kelly with a great move down low to get around uh, Bland there. Hunter, it looks like it's Cleveland team starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, this Cle Cleveland team and Dyersburg is still doing Dyersburg right now. See, running into play their own teammate, throwing the ball away, taking big shots, not making them. Oh, what a pass. Get it out on a fast break, and Ebony Kelly will finish. Wow, everything is going right and, right now uh, for Cleveland State. Dyersburg calls a timeout to start the bleeding here. Wow. So we have a lot of Cleveland State fans here as it's just a short 30-minute 30 30 drive. The as they have a 30-13 to 13 lead with 3.21 to go in the half. Hunter, I just, uh, unless Dyersburg gets a little more communication out here on the court, I don't think they're going to be able to catch up Cleveland here. I know we still have another half to play, but Cleveland has got is locked in. Yeah, as long, I mean, if, if Dyersburg keeps playing the way they play, or playing right now, as I should say, it's not gonna it's not gonna look good. Coach Taylor needs to get him in there and calm him down, tell him to stop throwing the ball away. But as 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 a Cleveland State Lady Cougars coach, Evelyn Thompson, you have this big of a lead. What do you tell your players with this big of a lead so they don't don't slack up? You gotta stay hungry, no matter what. Uh, this this game doesn't end in one half. You still have another half to play. You still have another three minutes to go in this half. So you uh. You gotta act like you're down and keep playing like you're coming from behind. Right, because last time, last time they played, it was only a one point game. One that's, point. That's right. Oh, and great defense there. Kia Jenkins slapping that one out of bounds, not letting the pass get through. Oh, and Foster inbound. Oh, wide open. And misses. Dyersburg just can't get anything going on offense. Yeah. I wonder if Coach Taylor will send him in the locker room at halftime or. That'll be a timeout by. Uh... No. Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, timeout. No, backcourt. No. Backcourt by how? I don't, I didn't think it took him 10 seconds to get half court. But I didn't think it took him that long, but. We have been having trouble with the shot clock today, so I don't know. All right, so uh, Dyer's going to take a little possession here. And wow. she'll lose it. That'll be Cleveland State possession. Another turnover for Dyersburg. This is not good. That was number 22, Neal, that threw that ball away as Oriana Brown came in for. The, the body language for Dyersburg right now doesn't even look good, though. It, it just seems like they're... Uh, they, they walked in this game already defeated. Yeah, not a lively bench over there is, you know, we got some Cleveland State oh, players. Oh, great pass there from Hubert. What a pass. Cleveland State players over there yelling at their team on the edge of their seats, you know, clapping and stuff. But if you look over there to Yeah, you can definitely see Dyersburg. a difference in the morale. Definitely. And yes. Foster now will finish, but there's an offensive rebound and another, another, miss. another one. And one. And that'll be an and one opportunity there for Tazia Bland, Bland, I'm sorry. A freshman forward. Scores now 32 to 15. That's the first foul for Cleveland State this uh, quarter. Great uh, job playing defense without fouling. Nothing is going right right now for Dyersburg State. Quillen State leading 32-15. Two minutes left to go here in this first half. Wow, double dribble called. I didn't see anything, but. I didn't see it myself. These referees are calling this very close. Very close, but also not. You know, yeah. they, they, I guess they're picking and choosing right now, which is probably not a good fan of the coach. Oh, wow. That's a Pull Steph Curry three. three. 
I'm not sure. That, that looked like an ill-advised shot. <laughs> a little rushed. I think it's one of those cases you're just trying to get something going for your team and uh, you uh, try a little too much. And uh, Cleveland State will turn over the ball there. Yeah, that's what I was – sorry, J.D. That's what I was talking about right there is they just need to slow down, take the right shots at the right time, don't rush anything, start making some baskets as they, they missed again Batter right there. Well, offensive rebound, though. She's foul going up with the putback. See, I don't think that was a great shot either. Just need to take their time, make, make good shots, start making baskets, get in the groove. Because you're Stoddard, down by 17 right now. The Stoddard team, you're not even seeing a lot of player movement and ball movement around the perimeter. I mean, they're, uh, they're passing the ball, but it's going back and forth or back and forth, or it's going down low and then staying down low. You're not seeing a lot of end out passing. Which, if you're wanting those three-pointers, that's the way to get the three-pointers. Get Evan Foster going down low. That way, whenever she gets the ball, she's getting double teamed and passing out the open uh, woman on the outside. Exactly. After that, make is 32-16. One minute left to go on here on the first half. And Gaither all the way. Yeah, we I talked to Coach Evelyn Thompson before the game, and, you know, she said that they're a big inside-the-arc kind of team, so they drive to the hole. And Oriana Brown tried to do it on the other side, but she could not get a finish. Good passing by Cleveland State to get it down court right there. And Ebony Kelly now will finish down low. 35 seconds left here going the first half. Big three and another miss by Dyersburg. Just Dyersburg cannot get anything going. Fast break here. Gaither's going to stop and she puts it in. 20 seconds to go. 36 to 16. There's a 20 point lead for Cleveland State now. This is not a good situation for Dyersburg. They could got to go to the locker room here at halftime and figure something out to do against this Cleveland State team. And there's the shot and nothing. And that'll be the end of the first half. Wow. So Cleveland State will go to the locker room with a 36-16 lead, 20 points. And Dyersburg just getting nothing going from on the offensive end. Absolutely nothing. And when you're down by 20, if you're Coach Taylor, what do you tell to your team? And then on the defensive end, they can't even get a stop right now. I mean, Dyersburg has got to go to the locker room, and they have got to figure something out because right now it looks like they may end up being a first-round elimination. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with you for the first second half. I'm J.D. Shoemate. And I'm the Hunter Tally. And we'll see you soon.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the second half of Cleveland State versus Dyersburg State. Cleveland State leads by 20 points, a 36 to 16 margin. They've come out so far in this game and uh, asserted themselves. Dyersburg just hasn't had an answer. 
Uh, Dyersburg, the offense so far has been anemic, and the defense just not able to get any stops. We'll see what they, if they made any adjustments in the locker room, and if so, if they're able to uh, do anything about this Cleveland onslaught so far. Let's uh, see what they got. That's all you can do. Hopefully, Coach Taylor went in there and got in their ear a little bit. Oh, great pass there. But uh, not able to finish by Kyla Braden. Whoa, where and she threw that one away. There was no one coming behind her. I don't. I think she thought that she had a, a trail, trail player, but nobody there. Oriana Brown with the first turnover. I'm actually going to start keeping up with turnovers the second half. Just maybe. Oh, shot from the corner. Wow. Oh, good shot. Good job by Kyla Braden with a three. And she's loving it. All smiles in the baby blue. Shot there from, that was Ooh. Jenkins goes uh, long but recovered. Good defense there. And Braden ties it up, but it will be a foul. Foul there on uh, Gaither for Cleveland. So Dyersburg State will maintain possession. Pull up, and it goes drops. Good shot there from Oriana Brown. Makes the score 39 to 18, eight and a half to go here in the third quarter. And she had one point in the first half, so now she has oh, good three on the there game. Foster. Yep, there goes another block. Foster is able to keep her hands up, didn't have to get on her feet for that one. Yeah, she's a tall girl. And wow. Another block from Foster. That's three on the game. And I think that'll be a foul there. Yeah, that'll be a foul. Foul on Hubert. Second team foul. Now, Sonora, you're on a brown line. Scores 39-18, 8-14 left here in the third quarter. Makes the first one. Moves the lead back up to 20. Puts the lead to 19. All right, so we'll see Cleveland State bring it back across half court now. Eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. Oh, stolen. Yes, stolen there by Brown. And stolen back by Gaither. And Gaither loses it. That was a foul. That will be a foul, yes. That foul will go against Bland. Looks like, again, they forgot <laughs> what sport they were playing. <laughs> oh, good defense there by Brown. Another steal. Back-to-back -back steals there for Brown. Foster wide open from the elbow, and she sinks it. All right, score 39, 22. And stolen away again wow. by Dyersburg. That's three steals on three straight possessions. And not able to finish there when she went baseline. So once again, it's not the Dyersburg who's throwing the ball away this half. Cleveland a little sloppy here to open the third quarter. Yeah, it looks like that last pass was intended for Kelly, but she was not even looking for the ball. And Evelyn Thompson will uh, call a timeout here, talk it over, and I think she really needs to after a sloppy play we've seen the last three possessions. Yeah, see, that's what I thought that Coach Charles Taylor for the Dyersburg State Lady Eagles was going to do in the first half, call a quick timeout, talk to them, settle them down, but he never did. Uh, said it, contended, it continued throughout the yeah, first I mean, half, I mean, so maybe. just with a 17-point deficit here in the second half. Right, so maybe now that this quick timeout, Evelyn's going to talk to them a little bit, settle them down. Maybe they'll uh, refocus here and 
keep up the lead. All right, so we'll come out of timeout here. Cleveland State will have possession with a 17-point lead, 7.15 to go here in the third quarter. And we'll have um, Kyla Braden inbounding. Single line formation to inbound oh, the pass. Oh, she is. Oh, she is kind of pushed, but. Yeah, it looks like, well, I think she kind of stepped into that one. And it uh, twisted that plant foot, which uh, results in the uh, travel. So with seven minutes to go, your score is 39-22, Cleveland State over Dyersburg State. Oh, and she's tied up. Wow. And it'll stay, yes, Dyersburg possession. No, sorry, foul. Foul on Hubert. That's her second foul now here in this uh, second half. Second foul overall, actually. Wow, another reach-in foul. That was a reach-in foul by Bianca, number 21. Excuse me. Correction, Oriana Brown, number 13. Lots of early fouls here to start this game out. Or start the second half out. So, Gaither to Hubert to Jenkins who oh, missed the shot. Oh, good rebound by Gaither. And, and what a one. scoop layup. That, that was, was a, a foul on Foster. That was a nice LeBron James left-handed layup right there. And you know, that one was tough too. I mean, she had Foster right in front of her and just showed no fear going to the rim. Yeah. Foster's probably the tallest one on the, on the court. Oh yeah, she's most certainly tallest and she, she has the size advantage uh, on defense against this Cleveland State team, but Gaither able to just whip right around her and scoop it past her. Dyer's right will take possession here. Cleveland State playing the press and trap defense. Foster will take it down low. She's poked loose from her though. And no, that will be wow. a foul. Foul on Kelly. So now inbound. It looks like Cleveland State is playing the sloppy ball. Almost a reach in right there is number three. Oh, not able to finish. I thought she had that one. Olam took a shot and missed. And look at Gaither, Gaither again. Left-handed again. She might be a left-hander. <laughs> She's getting the rim with ease right now. She scored 44 to 22, 540 to go here in the third quarter. Definitely driving hard is, and wow. Great finish by Foster. That's a small window to put it in, but that was a great pass by Bianca oh, Massey. Oh, it really was. Oh, oh and a steal defense. by Massey. Too bad it was out of bounds. So, Arian Foster, Aaron Foster, excuse me, takes a, a little breather for the Dyersburg State Lady Eagles. Five seconds to go on the shot clock, and wow! What a drive by Braden. Kayla Braden made that one look a little easy. Big three-pointer right here. Wide open there for uh, Bianca Massey. What a shot. That'll make the score 46-27, just under five here to go in third. Oh. That'll be a traveling violation. Julia Gaither is taking the ball and just driving it straight to the hole, no matter if there's one person or if there's four people down there under the basket. True. She no, is driving that's... hard. Oh, wide open shot there. Missed, but what a rebound. It's fouled on the putback. 
And not only uh, Gaither's scoring ability, her passing ability has been quite impressive so far. Yes, very much. So that was Holland. She missed the three-pointer, got her own rebound, went up. Now she's on the free throw line. And to be the smallest player on the court right now, very impressive for her to run, uh, work her way inside and get her own rebound. Tiaja Bland enters back into the game for the Lady Eagles. Holum makes it 46-29. As the Lady Eagles do a full court press. Almost a mistake by yourself. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, and that'll be whose ball here? That's Cleveland State's ball. Yes, yeah, so that'll be Cleveland State possession. So as they throw it out of bounds, Cleveland State takes over. Abby Hubert with the inbound pass. Cleveland State is sitting on a 15-point lead now, four minutes to go here in the second, uh, third quarter. So let's watch Julia Gaither do her thing here, directing traffic on the top of the key. Didn't get what she wanted. But here goes the leading scorer in the conference. Abby Huber. Tough shot and missed. Almost lost that rebound there. If Huber would have looked back, it would have been hers. Big pull up jumper three is no good. Again, I don't think you need to take those, uh, force those threes. You can't, there's no shot that'll get you back. Wow, what a take by Aaron Foster. She'll go to the line for the M1 opportunity. As I was saying, there's no shot that's gonna get you right back in this game. You might as well just chip away and not try to force it. Yeah, a lot of gameplay left. As she misses the free throw. Almost oh. still, and they got it. And yeah, that'll be a blocking call there. Even though her hands up, she she kind of she hit, did run into her. Kind of used her hips a little bit <laughs> right there. Number 23, Kyla Braden, with the push foul. So Lady Eagles try to do a, a press against the Cougars. Wow, almost a second violation and Evelyn Thompson called a quick timeout. So with 3.08 to go, your score is 46 to 31. JD, they're, they're chipping away at this lead. Yeah, they're, uh, they're slowly but surely getting their way back into it. They've, uh, they came into this uh, second half with a 20 point deficit, cut it down to 15. Uh, three minutes left here to go in the third quarter. If they can cut it back down to 10 by the end of the quarter, I have a feeling they might be right back in the game. But uh, we'll see uh, how that goes, if they can get that offense going and get some stops on defense. They've got a few, but not enough so far. Yeah, big defensive stop came from Arian Foster. Three blocks on the game, three. You know, that's a that's a big girl down there blocking shots. It's kind of hard to get get around her. Oh, yeah, but her we height, have... Her height advantage is, is killing the Lady Cougars. We have seen Julia Gaither get a little crafty and uh, work her way around her a few times now, though. That is true, but maybe Foster has learned her moves. You never know, but. It's true, they gotta have to adapt as the game goes along. And Cleveland will get the ball here on the inbound. Gaither up top, resetting the top of the key. So they still got 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Wow, throw the oh, ball away. Out of bounds, miscommunication there. Ooh, almost threw that ball away. 
but they took their time getting it right back. So maybe if they can just start settling down, take shots, which that's what it looks like they're doing, they'll chip away at this lead that Cleveland State drives right to the basket. And Great scores. move there from uh, Bianca Massey. Wow. That makes that a 13-point lead now for Cleveland State. 2.20 to go here in the half, and almost got wow, a turnover, a tip but drill. Ebony Kelly will be find herself all alone. <laughs> that was a tip drill from Hubert to Gaither to Kelly for the basket. So with just at two minutes to go, scores 48-33 Cleveland State. With a big three-pointer right here, no good. Needed that one, but I almost came up the offensive rebound, but Julie oh. Gaither able to gather it. Here goes Gaither. Wow. Oh, what a pass. A no-look over-the-head pass to number My 14. Goodness. Kelly. Give it up for Julie Gaither on that one. And Dyer's going to call a timeout. They don't. They, uh, they were getting back into it, but now Cleveland's taking another 17-point lead here with 138 to go. Hunter, what do you think Dyersburg needs to do to get back in this game here? Uh, well, first off, they need to slow down Julia Gaither. She's just flying to the hole. Let's see a replay of that real quick. As there she is, just taking the ball. Watch this no look over the shoulder said, yep, there that was it is. Such a beautiful pass by Julie Gaither, running the fast break with perfection. Yeah, and of course all of the all of the Lady Eagles is gonna go towards her because she's been driving the basket, which leaves somebody a wide open, that's, which that's true. exactly what been, just happened. She has been the engine that's running this Cleveland City team today. So with 132, 131 ticking on the clock, a long two is no good. Looks like Dyersburg said will keep possession here. It looks like a foul on number 23, Caleb Braden. Are they on the bonus that'll put him at the line? That's only her second foul. Let's see if she can cut into another 15 point deficit here with 127 to go. Keontae Butts on the line as she made her first free throw. And makes both. So good trip to the line for Butts. Score is now 50 to 35, 125 left in the uh, third quarter. Good ball handling skills by Gaither. She gets the ball around hard defending Oriana Brown. Great little move right there, but mm. not able to finish over Foster. Yeah, good job right there by Jenkins. Scuffle for the ball. Foster getting going to the floor to save that one. And that'll be a jump ball by, uh, sorry, jump ball. Dyersburg will keep possession. So Foster doing it all, getting on the ground, trying to go yeah, for the ball. She's, uh, she's trying to keep three her team blocks. On this one. Three blocks on the game. So we're in a minute to go now, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Mishandled that one on the inbounds. We could have had an opportunity for deep. Five she, seconds on the shot clock, four, three, two, step back three. Wow. And that will be a shot clock violation, didn't hit the rim. I did not hit the rim. So with 40 seconds, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. 15 point lead here for Cleveland. So I think they'll just try to run this clock down as much as they can. Not rush their shots. Oh, good defense there, but not able to do anything with it. I think she uh, might have tweaked her knee on the landing there. Wow. Wow, what a move by Gaither. Another <laughs> great move. She loves that left-handed layup right there. Gaither is uh, working her way inside repeatedly here in the second half. And that'll be, th whoa, wow. and stolen. She probably should have just and let Kyla that one go Braden out. Kyla all alone at the buzzer. And that'll make it a 19 point lead now, 54-35, Cleveland State ahead. All smiles over there in the baby blue. 
as they just get the bucket. So to our calculations, uh, Julia Gaither. I see a replay right there, that uh, great defensive play at the buzzer. Braden able to put it in, just barely got it out of her hand in time. So Gaither, to our calculations, at 15 points going into the fourth quarter. So if she keeps it up, she's going to have a well over 20-point game. All right, Hunter, what do you th do? You think this game's over? Or do you think Dyersburg State can come back here in the last 10 minutes? Absolutely not. Only the fact, not that they can come back. I'm saying no. It's it's not over. It's not over due to the fact that you know last time they came. I don't know what the deficit was, but it was a one-point game finish. And Coach said it was a well-fought, hard-fought game. So Cleveland State can't come out here in the fourth quarter thinking they have a big lead like this. They're going to have to play like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard for them to pull out this win. Sure. Let's see what happens here as Cleveland inbounds the ball. A lot of ball movement right here, starting at the fourth. And a steal right there by number 13, Oriana Brown, as she goes coast to coast. Oh, and she's not able to handle it, but she gets the save. Another nice save by Brown. But Foster could not finish the shot right there. Wow. Great pass there to Hubert, who finishes on the reverse. Abby Hubert. Scores now 56-35 with nine minutes left to go here in the game. A foul is on 24, Kaya Jenkins. Bianca Massey makes her first bucket from the free throw line, making the lead now 20, even. So we got a couple of subs coming in for the Lady Eagles. Number 12, Bland, and number 25, Price. As she misses the second one. So she tries Kelly. Good pass there, Wow. Kelly to Hubert, and Hubert with another left-handed layup. Cleveland State loves these left-handed layups. That'll be a backcourt violation. And I'm not even sure about that call right there, but Cleveland State will take possession. Yeah, I think that was a backcourt violation. I think Hubert and number 21, Massey, was fighting over the ball. Massey touched it last, but. So with the. Cleveland State slowing it way down the perimeter out there. Oh, what wow. a pass, Ebony Kelly inside. Wow. That was number 12, Tiasha Brand, Bland, excuse me, going for the steal instead of the defense, and she came up, missed it. She left a wide open shot for Kelly. She just got the rebound right there. It's also give credit there to Peyton Eads for the pass. Absolutely. Tight window, decides to take it, and another. And Kyla Braden oh, there finishing. Another left-handed layup by the Lady Cougars. They definitely practiced that this week. That's for sure. 62-36 now, eight just under eight minutes left in the uh, game. It's Sunday, JD. I didn't know the bank was open, but apparently so. <laughs> Zakai Head finishes the bank shot there. I'm going to make it 62 38. Julie Gaither taking her time, kicking it out to Kelly. And the foul called on number 21, Bianca Massey. Great pass there, getting that one inside. So 62-38, J.D., what do you think? Is it out of reach yet? I think it's out of reach. This Cleveland State team just 
acting like a well-oiled machine, and they're not gonna, they're not showing too many chinks in the armor. And even when they do show a chink in the armor, they make sure to follow that up with a fast and furious scoring, uh, scoring flurry. Oh, great. Wow. Almost got the steal there by Hubert. You know, she stayed quiet in the first quarter, but she's making a name known. Yeah, she's uh, she's definitely waking up here in the second half. But Gaither has been playing one heck of a game as that's a deep Steph Curry three right there in the corner. Almost out of the bounds. She hits side of the base. And Gaither hits the Hits the line when she falls there, so that'd be a turnover. Six fifty to go in the in the game. That's Foster. Look at Aaron Foster. Wow, oh, just what going rebound. up and over. Aaron Foster with a strong move down low. <laughs> she just went up and over number twenty-two, Peyton Adams. That'll be a reach there on Holm. Foster definitely using her size to an advantage right there, just taking her rebound, no problem. And Cleveland here with a 23-point advantage, with 637 here to go in the game. Oh, Holm loses it there, and not a little fish down low. Foster gets a rebound. So with 6.10 to go, another deep three in the corner, another miss by number 25, Price. And all the way wow. down, Corbin blocked by Foster on the chase down. That's her fourth block of the game, and she just said, nah. And that one may have been the most impressive I've seen this game. Not today. Caught up to her on the fast break to swat that one away. It was a great play. Great display of defense from Aaron Foster. Yeah, she has to go get her some water after that one as Coach Taylor definitely gave her a high five after that. And Dyersburg comes with the ball. <laughs> Number 21 right there, Bianca Massey looked dead straight into her. Kyler Brayton's face and just ran right by her. Big three-pointer right there. Yeah, that was a down low foul right there by Price. She kind of pushed Kelly out of the way to get that rebound. So score 64 to 41 with 5.35 to go here, and Kelly takes it all the way. She's just so quick, so fast. Number 24, Keontae Butts just had no chance of catching her. Wow, travel called. 66-41 to go, excuse me, 66-41, 5-21 to go in the game. Big difference from their and first. And a blocking call there on uh, Bianca Massey. Again, these refs are calling this very tight. They're not letting anything go by. They finally get it. And Julia Gaither. Oh, wow. Big three right here. Money. Wow. And Abby Hubert showing you why she's a leading scorer in the conference. Uh, air ball. A little short. Got I'm not room. sure, but she may have gotten a hand on that one. I believe so. And that'll be Muriel Price finishing down low. Uh-oh, fast break. And Left Abby wide Huber open. all alone. She's not going to miss that one. Score is now 72, 
71 43 with 4 30, four and a half minutes ago. Wow. Yeah, that looked like it bounced off of uh, Braden's head there. Oh, yeah, blocking call on Ebony Kelly. 71 43. If you're Coach Evelyn Thompson, you have this big of a lead with 4.22 to go. Do you want to start pulling your starters? I'm pulling my starters. I'm putting them on my bench, giving them a break, and giving my bench some experience because they need the tournament experience as well. Because when you get into the championship round, if you get there, that's what really matters as far as depth goes. Well, as you see, she only has three on the bench, so not a very deep bench. But she does have three fresh legs over there that she can put in. Maybe get some of these girls a break. Especially Gaither right here, who is driving the ball and making moves, spinning, wide open three. And finds Hubert yes. alone. Hubert missed from outside. Good catch by our cameraman there, catching the ball. <laughs> one arm, one leg. Nice, nice <laughs> grab over there. And maintains his shot. <laughs> <laughs> Get paid the big bucks down there. Oh, and Holm will lose the ball, but recovers it. Ball. Wow, that, big pass. That pass went way, way over Shakira Neal's head. No way she could come up with that one. I know you said Shakira Neal, but it sounded like Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, well. That probably went, went over <laughs> his head, too. So, <laughs> big pass by Foster. Huber gets the foul down low. That was a great off-ball move to find herself underneath the rim. So that'll put Cleveland State in the bonus here. 71-43, we have 3.47 to go in the game. Hunter, I'm pretty sure this one is completely out of reach. Absolutely. Boom. Make it 72-43 if she makes this other one. I don't know what you do here. I mean, this is a 30-point lead if she makes this, which she does. That makes it a 30-point lead for Cleveland State, their largest of the game. I would, if I'm Evelyn Thompson, I would say stay away from the ball, no fouls, let the oh, wow. Oh, great defense by Evelyn Kelly. Flew in out of nowhere to get in the way of that pass. But I forgot, you can't tell the spider monkey to slow down. <laughs> she has been 110 miles an hour since the first whistle blew, which is a great job. So she's like, this is my only game today. We'll get the day off tomorrow. She's gonna let it all hang out. Or not the, excuse me, not the day off tomorrow, but get the rest of the day. Evelyn Foster, Foster with another great offensive rebound, put, gets the put back. Foster has nearly 15 points. As Evelyn Thompson calls a timeout with 3.09 to go, score is 73 to 45. You know, big, big day for a lot of players on the Cleveland offense. JD, what do you think? Uh, yeah, very big day. We got at least three players in double digits. That's a uh, very impressive for this team, balanced scoring. Yeah, definitely, definitely sharing the ball, sharing the love in this tournament right here. Quick, quick talk right there by coach Charles Taylor. I don't know if he's just decided, hey, ladies, go out there and finish this game. Do the best you can. See the replay that fast break real quick. Wide open. Easy bucket. Called Abby Hubert's name a lot. We called Julia Gaither's name a lot. Then on the other side of the ball, you know, Arian Foster carrying her team. So now we got some fresh legs in there, number 13. They're seeing Cleveland State go to the bench a little bit here. Get Julia Gaither a little break after she uh, Another ran that offense so well. What a steal there by Ebony Kelly. Sasai White coming off the bench for Cleveland State. Make sure this is right. 
73-45 with 2.47 to go was the inbound pass from White. Goes down low. Wow, that's a rare miss right there by Hubert. She gets another shot. And she kicks it over to Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith oh, just and tosses throws it, it to away. Foster. <laughs> I don't know. I think she lost it going in for the scoop layup there. And that'll be a foul. We get two from the line. Scores now 73-45. Dyersburg down by or, I'm sorry, 28 points with two and a half to go. So Keontae Butts made her first of two. One coming. And sinks them both. Makes the score now 73-47 with 2.23, 2.22 kicking, ticking on the clock. As Hubert holds the ball and they're just trying to move the ball around. Wow, she picks up the foul. We'll see, uh, we'll see CC White here at the line for the first time. Try saying that a couple times fast. We'll see CC. <laughs> and she missed her first one. CC White, a freshman, and gets her own rebound. Tries to go over Foster, but that's not working for her. Yeah, that's not going to happen. She misses that, and Foster gets the rebound. Foster's a good head and a half taller than she was. And that pass was about a head and a half too high. So with 1.44 to go, Cleveland State has this one in the bag. As they're just not, not taking a lot of shots until the clock is inside 10 at least. Wow, draws another foul down low. CC back to the line. Gets her, gets her redemption shots right here, right, JD? Yeah, uh, she uh, <laughs> she missed her last two. She missed her last two, so we'll see if we can make up for it here for a team. So she's a left-handed shooter, and she has a little brace on that left hand, so I don't know if she's a little injured or what. Maybe that's not why she's, she's starting and playing playing much, but sinks that first one, makes the second one. So now she's 50% from the line, so that's a lot better than 0%. Big Steph Curry three from number 22. I'm not sure if that was the smartest shot there. Shakira Neal, uh, you're just taking shots now with 110, 109 left in the game. You're down 75, 47 as Jordan, wow. Number five, that's block number five right there by Foster. Wow, what a nice bounce pass by Foster. I know it's probably a little late, but nice bounce pass to Keontae Butts. And under a minute to go here, 75-49, Cleveland State leads. Uh, it looks like they're going to be moving on the next round to play Walter State. Yeah, Walter State stuck, stuck around to, to see them play. As now they know who they're going to face in the next round of the tournament. Another tip ball. Shot in and out. By number 24, Keontae Butts. 18.2 seconds to go, JD. All right, so this will probably be the last possession here. Cleveland State will most likely just dribble it out. The shot clock is now off.
They shouldn't take a shot. Abby Hubert is going to close this game out at the logo. Your final score, Cleveland State 77, Dyersburg State 49. And uh, what a showing there from Cleveland State, coming out and showing uh, that they, uh, they are ready for this tournament. Well, so that'd be a 77-49 win. Cleveland State will go on to play Walter State Monday in the semifinal round. All right, Cleveland State celebrating the court. What a win right there for this team today. Uh, just played all, an all-around great game. And uh, we'll... Uh, Wait here for a second while uh, Hunter goes and tries to grab a sideline interview with uh, somebody from the Cleveland State team here. Again, that win was uh, by score, final score, 77-49. Cleveland State advances. Uh, good game from Dyersburg, just not able to get anything going against the, uh, the much deeper Cleveland State team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once more, that final score is 77 to 49. Cleveland State advances to play Walter State tomorrow. Join us for the next game uh, while we do the uh, end of season awards for these players here today. Uh, enjoy. Your 2018 regular season champion, Walter State Lady Senators. At this time, we will acknowledge the second team all-conference players. If you will come to the floor, receive your award, and have a photo taken in the process.
First, from Dyersburg State, Oriana Brown. From Montlow State, Taja Clark. From Southwest Tennessee, Quinlan Hughes. Southwest Tennessee, Orlandra Humphrey. From Volunteer State, Zoe Johnson.
So that wraps up the individual awards and the coaches awards and all that jazz. We'll be right back for more basketball here at Chattanooga State Women's NGCAAA Tournament. <laughs> 